started, though. Uh, listen, I just want to say thank you uh, to Ariva Martin and Ernest Martin for yeah. allowing yeah. us to have a Hey, beautiful home, and it yeah. certainly is convenient. Um, I know you've done some the Evil Theater, and obviously you walked over there, right? You didn't have to drive. <laughs> so, but Ariva and I have gone, we've been knowing each other for now about 20 years. Come on out. Come on. Yeah. And then Daryl Brown, one of my favorite guys. Uh, he actually got me in the insurance business uh, about 20 years ago, so I appreciate you and Emil and everybody else and Jan. Wow, George is... How's George doing? He's good. George, one of my good friends. I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, but everybody, just thank you for coming out and uh, thank you for your support. Uh, I you know, want to thank you, and I'm sure Mark would like to maybe say a couple of words. Well, you, can, you can speak longer if you want to. I just don't want you to, you know, I want you to be comfortable. We want him to be relaxed and just let him know that we support him and there's a lot of people like us that, you know, uh, really are excited about having Mark uh, as a supervisor for L.A. County. So, yeah. with that, I let's have say, Yes, go ahead. Yeah, I just want to thank everyone for coming out. Thank my wonderful husband for allowing me to have these yeah. parties. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we were planning this for three months now. <laughs> I had to read his emails. <laughs> I just thank all of our guests because you all are really special, many friends who shared really special moments. And, and usually this is a party house and we have all kinds of parties. So it's really an honor to do something that you know really speaks to our community and to have Mark and his wife Avis both very involved and, and who are working so hard to change our community. And, so we're just really glad to have everyone here and, and just want to say you know, this is a very special time in our country, in our state, and in our county. So to have Mark at the, at the helm of our county at a time when we are all you know, looking for solutions, looking for answers on how we're going to survive this economic crisis. And we say we have one of the best leaders that we can have who's going to you know, lead us as we you know, thrive throughout this difficult time period. So Mark and Avis, thank you for joining us and now our, you know, our illustrious... You know, Honorable Mark Ridley Thomas, uh, our Los Angeles County Supervisor. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, let's give a big round of applause to both uh, Ariva and Ernest for allowing us to be here. Thank you for your graciousness and your hospitality. Geronimo, uh, thank you for your friendship, uh, long standing, and Stepping up yet again, give him a big round of applause. Yeah. We always take the opportunity to thank the Honorable Avis Ridley Thomas for being here. Uh, you all should know um, that um, one of the things that I'm uh, attempting to build and to cause the second district to be. Distinguished by uh, the caliber of people who are on uh, the Ridley Thomas uh, team. Uh, and I'm uh, pleased that uh, Vincent uh, Meredith Harris, my senior advisor and special assistant, um, irrespective of the fact that he is a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> if you get to know him, you will find him to be extraordinary in quite a number of ways, and we appreciate his gifts, his talents, um, and his contributions uh, to our efforts today. Uh, Vincent has been the uh, principal staff person working on uh, the uh, Martin Luther King uh, project. Uh, that is to say, not the reopening of Martin Luther King Hospital, but the building of a new Martin Luther King Hospital. <laughs> not looking backwards. Thank you. Not reopening anything. We're looking forward to the dawning of a new environment, a 38-acre parcel uh, that we essentially have as a single most important priority in mind for that is quality health care for the patients is the first yes. and only priority. Yes. My compliance issues have been in order for the length of time that they have such that uh, 
account for it and have to try to figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Ida Yarbrough CPA is my treasurer. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Nineteen eighty-seven, wow. when I first ran for a public office, and so um, thank you all for being here and being kind enough to support uh, the effort. To Vincent, you should restrain yourself. <laughs> Ida knows what she's doing. She enjoys my being her client. <laughs> as you enjoy my being your employer. <laughs> 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 you need a no lawyer, <laughs> <laughs> One day at a time. <laughs> <laughs> so I ain't get out of this deal. <laughs>